and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over what you should be doing with your coins right now. Like I usually been telling you guys, I'm keeping up with this video. Now I haven't done this video in probably like a week or so. Now we're in Madden Limbo again. We got Mud Heroes behind us, pretty much done. And then we got Most Feared coming very, very shortly. So you guys are kind of like in that weird spot. So this is where I like to usually sell my team and get back what I really want for my team. Now, I don't mean sell your entire team. Because I'm going to get these comments, right? Should I sell everyone I just bought? No. Sell the players that you don't really plan to keep on your team. Like, you never really, you just have them now because they're helping you compete. We just played Weekend League, obviously. It's Monday now, so most of you guys should be done with that. If you guys want to just start getting ready for most of you, like I'll be doing, I'll show you guys what I plan to sell for my team. Now, if you have them powered up already with chems, don't, don't ask me, like, should I power them? No, don't. Keep them. If they're powered up with abilities, you will lose more coins getting rid of those abilities and power-ups just to get a new player. Unless they're so far behind, like my Marcus Allen, it made sense for me to get a new running back. But I didn't power him down. I still kept him as a backup because to sell Marcus Allen for 150k, or like 120k, I lost more in training and reduction and everything else that I already spent on him. So there was no point. I'd rather have him as a backup. Now, like I said, we're in Madden Limbo. Uh, most of it's coming real soon and nothing is worse than going into a new promo with no coins and, and a whole team and then realizing when you want and then you see the new cards like oh my god a new Marshall Lynch I want that oh wait I have no coins and my team goes for a lot less now you don't want to be that guy so I'm gonna show you guys first what I'm selling on my team so I'll go over a few guys that I think that aren't really worth it quick guys if you're new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys we are 130 subs away from 10k subscribers boys let's run it up we're so close everyone watching this news hit that subscribe button come join the 10k gang there's 130 spots left boys i'm super hyped to finally hit 10k let's make it happen as soon as possible give this video a big thumbs up boys comment down below 10k gang comment down below how many subs i was at when you guys came and joined the family but guys get into this video okay guys so let's head on over to the binder real quick i'm gonna show you guys essentially what i plan to sell and how i view like my own team so you guys can get an idea so i'm gonna sell ramsey but that's because I want the Nat Ramsey. I have not finished the solo sequence yet, so I'm going to go to the solo sequence. But if you have Ramsey, do not sell him. I, I will keep him the rest of the year for me at least. But I'm only going to sell my Ramsey because I want to go sell the top piece Ramsey and then go to the solo, get the Nat one, and toss him in and get my coins back. Saquon, I'm keeping. Lawrence Taylor, I'm obviously keeping. Greg Olson, the guy I'm selling. At tight end, he only has an 82 speed. His catching stats are great, but we all know that 82 speed doesn't stand against any other tight ends really anymore. Like, especially with the new promo coming out, we know they're going to pass that. George Kittle, within himself, has an 83 speed just powered up that's not even his full card so tight ends are already faster than him and eventually they're going to be even faster tight ends like maybe a most feared evan ingram or something which is what i'm hoping for so i'm going to sell greg olson off you, like no matter how good catching tight ends have when i use them in the open field the middle, i have a lot of routes that go right to them if they can't get that slight step on a middle linebacker or anything they're kind of useless at that point for me the way i run my scheme obviously this doesn't apply to everyone this applies to the way i run my scheme but he's going to be guys to go to cash i'm keeping He's a right guard with all 90 or above threshold uh, blocking, so you can't really go wrong with him. Cam Jordan's not. Willie Brown, I don't know if I'm going to sell him yet because he's kind of cheap, and he does have all threshold stats, so maybe he would be a hold for now. But I also have Stephon Gilmore, which I can't even use anymore, so I haven't really decided on the route I'm taking with that. I will be selling Mitch Morse. I'm, they'll, they'll be a better center than him. He has decent pass blocking and decent to low run blocking, so I don't really want to keep him. Those are the guys I'm pretty much looking at for right now. Like, and as far as Mud Heroes, guys, in my opinion, if you have any Mud Heroes, the only ones worth really keeping are Ramsey, Barkley, and DeCastro, maybe Jamal Adams, and anyone that fits your, your team. Like if you have a theme team or certain chems or certain abilities you wanted, that makes sense. But other guys you just have, like Mitch Morris, Greg Olson, I recommend selling them. Now, the reason for that also is just the coins in general. You guys, want to be, you guys want to be building that stack for most feared. You don't really want to go into a new promo without coins. Nothing worse you can do. And you can already see a lot of prices coming down heavy. Like, Andrew Luck was like 480 the other day. Michael Vick was, okay, they came back up a little bit. Michael Vick was 617. Like, you've seen the, the the floor and the potential that they could really just go low, low. So we know that with no sphere, things are going to ki get killed even more. A lot of these guys, they're not really worth holding on to anymore. They won't come back up. At this page, they are what they are. So I wouldn't really recommend you guys hold on to your dear players anymore. Unless, like I said, they fit your scheme. You like them. They're your favorites. Like, Saquon's my favorite. Maybe not for everyone else, but for me, I won't I won't sell him even if I'm losing coins. I don't care. I'm keeping him on my team. Guys like Ed Reed, I wouldn't recommend just because I'd save your coins instead of getting him because we already have Pat Tillman. Kind of just an easy explanation for why I wouldn't touch those guys. Now, next one I'm going to be doing is, like I said, building your, your coin stack. 
and getting some of your missions done. Remember, if you guys have not finished the level up grind, get that done as soon as possible. The level up grind gets you tons of coins. If you're not leveling 50 yet, trust me, get that, get all the way to level 60 as soon as possible. I do have a fast way to level up video on the channel. You can go find that. I think it is pinned. Um, it should be pinned on my my YouTube as one of the top videos, or you can go find the other one I posted a few weeks ago, which was updated. But essentially, if you get to that level 60. From 0 to 60, you get about a million plus coins. You get power passes, it's worth it. And also, we should be getting a new power pass in the new series. I don't know when the new series will come. Probably around like the first week of November. So we still have some weeks in the series done, which is why I recommend you guys get the progression done. The series to where the player wins, because once you get to 200, you get all these trophies. And once you can use those trophies to get job mana collectibles. But back, back to the coins. It does apply, because getting a lot of stuff definitely helps your team improve, which in essence allows you to use less coins. Training has been down a lot. If you guys want to train, you can still use to save some coins. Make sure you're being efficient with that. Make sure you check updated training value charts. But also, they should be getting lower. Like I said, being in Madden Limbo means prices are going to be up, less content, but something's coming on the horizon. It's like it's like when the tide, the tide like lowers before tsunami hits. That's kind of like how Madden is. When Mud Heroes dropped, the market was here. Where between Mud Heroes and Most Fear, it's a market like right up here. Like there's no content, no packs, no nothing. And then once Most Fear comes, it drops again. That's pretty much what's gonna happen. So. That's why you guys want the good. Just get the coin stack up. Never, in my, it's just my personal opinion. My personal opinion. Never hold cards into a promo. I mean, never hold an abundance of cards. Like you can hold one. Or, like I, like I've been saying, the the best thing you could have done in Mud Heroes was take your two free nap players, maybe buy one. That's it, and run away. That's it. Especially Mud Heroes being so soon after Most Feared. Like Most Feared, you could hold a few cards because you know you're gonna have them the rest of October, most of November until the Thanksgiving promo. Most Feared literally comes out. Like a week or two after Mud Heroes official, like the final drop happened. So like in that essence right there, you already know that there's no point. Like they're literally gonna go down about like from promo to promo, everything loses value. And these promos happen like a week or two apart. So that's why I took my two free, which would be Ramsey and Barkley, and then I'll end up keeping the cash room. That's it. Cause you're gonna know it's most feared. And I already know. I'm the guy, I, I am the guy who's been like, oh, I love Greg Olson. I don't care if they drop a new tight end. I'll stick with Greg Olson. It's worth it. I don't care if I lose coins. New new thing drops. Six foot seven, Jimmy Graham, 95 catch and traffic, 84 speed. And then I'm like, okay, Greg Olson's gotta go. Okay, I'm losing 80, I'm losing 80,000 coins. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Oh, he goes for 400. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. And I'm just sitting there like in pain losing all these coins. Don't be that guy. Trust me. And then the same thing applies for most fear. Just to give you guys future reference. Like, enjoy them in October. Around the first week of November, when you see the prices are a little stagnant, we're in limbo again. Maybe sell the few guys you don't want. I always keep like two or three guys per promo. Like for the Thanksgiving promo, I'll probably pick up a new Lawrence Taylor, most likely, and a Barry Sanders that they'll probably drop. I'll keep those cards. Around Christmas, maybe a Bo Jackson, whatever they end up dropping, whatever cool Christmas cards they drop. I'll probably keep one or two of those cards. I always keep like one or two of every card. That's kind of how I rock when I do all this stuff, guys. But what is my coin stack recommendation for most of you? You guys are always asking that. I think at minimum. If you're a low level team, newer guy, 300k is fine for you. Cause you're not rocking with 93 overall players. You're working for lower guys. I think 300k is okay. If you're a guy that has like an 87 overall team, 88 team, I think you at minimum, you need 500k. To get that team going in most of you, you need at least 500k. Cause that could be enough to do one of the coin methods that might come about. That could be enough to invest in some most fear cards as a currency. Cause like I said, in Christmas, I made 10 million coins last year with only 800,000 coins. I went in, I invested in some snow beast, um, but started, they all like doubled in price from 200 to 400 K. I ended up being at 1.6 million. Then they went back down. I bought them again. And then they made another blitz thing during the Christmas promo. Snow beast tripled in price. They went to like 600 K. I sold them all again. Before you know it, I was like 4 million coins. And then I spent all that coins on presents. And then before you know it, all those presents turned into Ed Reed's. And then I had 10 million coins. It was a great time to be a Madden player for me. But guys, in essence, that's what I'm saying. 500 K can get the job done. Preferably, I think a million coins is always the right amount. Like, a million coins is always like, you could buy two or three players for your team and invest with the rest. 500K is more like, if you buy any players, you won't have enough coins. But like, if you don't buy any players, then you can invest, but then you can't enjoy the promo. 500K is kind of like weird, you know? If you get two guys for 200K, you can't really invest too much. Or if you invest, then you, you miss the whole promo trying to get coins. That was kind of me during the Christmas promo. I invested everything because I was, there was just too many coins to be made. But in my opinion, a million coins is perfect. You can invest about 500K, spend about 500K, really rock with that. I think that's my personal recommendation for how to go about that. And if there is a currency, guys, which I think there may be like little pumpkins, a little ghosts, we'll have new currency. If there is that, I'll keep you guys updated when the promo drops. Obviously, going over coin methods with that, recommendations, what to expect. I'll have all that coming for you guys in the next few weeks. But right now, I don't think you really buy. I think you sell off the pieces. Like I like this, I call them like the loose ends. You sell off the loose ends. 
split guys that you don't really need like they're just there because they can be there not because you really care for them that's just how i'd like to rock it like how i like to rock when it comes to these promos and obviously with most fear coming out we have a month until the thanksgiving one so you guys have some time to work with that one we're gonna have some cool we're gonna have a good time we're gonna have a fun time i'm really excited for this i will make my updated content video for you guys when that does drop and i have some news regarding it for the time being there's no news specifically on it but don't worry guys you know i always got you guys so if you're new to the channel and you made it this far and you want to make sure to stay tuned for all that make sure to hit that subscribe button boys turn on that noti bell make sure to give this video a big thumbs up boys let's get this video to 150 likes that'd be greatly appreciated and comment down below what you guys are planning to do before most fear comes out to build up your coin stack and how you plan to go into this thank you guys so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video peace